my lovely nestlings and welcome to today's video where I'm going to chat about makeup that I regret buying. And overall I'm very very happy with my collection even though it's humongous. There are some makeup items in my collection that I very much regret purchasing. I wish I would not have bought these and this is what this video is all about. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm from the Netherlands, hence the accent. I'm also slightly orcish, relatively vintage and I, I love makeup. I love being creative in general and that is what my channel is all about. Let me explain something. Slightly orcish means I'm a light to light medium warm ish olive. The relatively vintage means I'm 46. Yes, uh, I also have one of the backbones of my channel with me today. That's the cat. Um, he's gracing us with his presence. So, yes. Products that I'm going to mention today are all things that I bought myself for various reasons. And honestly, I should not have. Disclaimer, most of them are eyeshadow palettes. But yeah, I have kind of 10. I have more, but... 10 products here that we're going to mention today and you know let's just start with the first item that I have here and that is a foundation. So when I bought this foundation I was very much on a foundation kick. I just found out that I had an olive complexion and I was really searching for foundations. Now this is a foundation that I did really enjoy but I should not have bought this shade. Period. I just shouldn't. And it is from Urban Decay. It's the Stay Naked in the shade 50 CG. Now the 30 CG is their lightest olive. And this is then one olive up. Which even in my summer color it's way too dark for me. So yeah. I should just not have. I should. I wanted a darker foundation so I could kind of mix my lighter foundation with the darker foundation because I needed to have the same type of foundation. I just should not have done because I, the, the lightest one was already kind of the, the color that I am right now, which is kind of my medium color in the middle of the year. Uh, so lightening up, lightening up for summer or for winter is easier and darkening up for then summer is also easier. But not if you have a foundation that is way, way... I, I should not have bought this. Honestly, I should just have bought a darkening up medium or something like that. Um, I don't need this. Uh, next, I'm going to go to let's let's go to uh, this next. I'm going to go to eyeshadow palettes last. Let's go to this next, which are from uh, Catrice. These are the Slimmatic Ultra Precise Brow Pencils. The pencils themselves are very very good. Um, it's just I, I I should not have bought this color and certainly not two. I have been using this uh, brow pencil for years. Right now, I kind of have the shade Espresso in my uh, in my brows, and I have been using this for years. And I really love and really enjoy a pencil like this. But the shade Chocolate, it is just way, way, way too warm. So here it is, and for me, it just turns very red on my face. It's just it's. And instead of, and I distinctly remember standing in store thinking of, Am I sure this is the correct shade? And I'm like, no, oh, but let me get two anyway. <sighs> Maybe I can give them to my sister or something like that. The quality is nice, but the, the color, I should not have bought them. Honestly, then I am going to go to, let's go to Colourpop next. And I love Colourpop as a brand. I have a bunch of their stuff and most of their stuff works very well for me. This though, mm, I, yeah, let me, let me show you. It's the pots from Colourpop. Now, if I had just bought one or maybe two, it probably would not have been in this video because I, I like them. They're not my favorite, but I like them. I do need to revive them, but honestly, I need to revive almost all of my gel pot liners really quickly because I just don't use it that often. Um, but I did not buy just one color. No, I bought the entire set. I should not have done that. Uh, I should just have picked the shadows that I wanted. I kind of wanted, I wanted the yellow, I wanted the red, and I think I wanted the light blue or the, the purple. I wanted maybe four colors and I bought the, in the entire bundle. And I should not have done that because they are, most of them are gathering dust 
in my collection. Next I'm going to go, let's go next to uh, Essence because I love Essence as a brand as well. Uh, I use a bunch of their stuff, you know, mascara, unfortunately my mascara that I love so, so much with it, which is the Bye Bye by Panda Eyes is no longer in stock. I think that they're reformulating to make it vegan. But I hope that they will bring it back soon. Um, but Essence launched their Jurassic World collection. And I thought it was very, very cute. I mentioned that in the new makeup releases. And then I saw it online on Booty Shop. And I bought the entire collection. This I still have. The only thing I used of that collection is the lippy that I have. Which I think is, is cute. I'm still thinking maybe I can do a dedicated video. That's why I bought the stuff to do a dedicated video. But I never did. So I, and I, I kind of knew that. I knew that. But what I get sucked in by is the fact that it's, oh, it's a cute collection. It's cheap. You know, it's one of, this video is one of the reasons, well, is actually the reason that I want to go on a low buy. Just saying. Then let me show you the eyeshadow palette, which looks very, very cute. Plasticky. Oh, the plasticky is still, see, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. I think I am. I, I think I'm just going to gift this to one of my nieces, maybe, because I think that they will. They will get same with the brushes, because I think that they will get just way more use out of it than I ever will. So let's go next to Makeup Revolution. I also love Makeup Revolution as a brand. It's not that they the the palettes that are in here, or at least the ones that I tried, they are not bad quality. Uh, so let's go to this one, which is from Makeup Revolution. And it is the third collaboration that I did with Sof. Now I have also the big palette uh, that I also pulled. But looking at the color story, I actually quite like the color story. This though, I did not need at all. I didn't. Honestly, I, I played with it once and I kind of liked the quality. I think the quality was nice, but I don't know what to do with this. It's because of the red. So I can kind of vibe with this like this, but... The red is throwing me off a lot. I did use it in a video. After that, I never touched it again. It does not spark me joy. I should not have bought this. Yes. Uh, the next, uh, next, I'm going to go to a palette that maybe it will kind of piss off a lot of people. I don't know. Uh, but it is here uh, because I, um, yeah, it's the same thing again. Now, the quality is very, very nice. Let me should just show you the palette. It's from Beauty Bay. Yes, it's the earthy palette. And here is uh, the color story, which is green. And I love green eyeshadow. But um, my deepest shade that I have here is a blue green. And I don't like darkening up my yellow greens with a blue green. I just don't like that. So I would have wanted this one, for instance, to be just as deep. As that one. That would have made it way, way better for me already. Uh, also, I don't need this shade. But I I tried to do a multiple looks video with this. And every time I open up this palette, the only shade that I love is the shade Moss. But I also have that in the Wilderness palette. This is just a palette that when I open it up, I close it back down again. Because I, I just, I actually only want to play here. I do like the quality, uh, but it just doesn't... Bring me joy. But I can also not get rid of it. So it's a palette that I'm like. It's kind of a reminder that I'm like. I should not just impulse buy. Unless I know that it's something that I will really love. Even to look at. And I have that in my collection as well. Because the other side of this. Is that I also have makeup in my collection. That I almost never use. Because my collection is so big. That I love to open up and just look at or swatch or just have on display because it sparks me so much joy to look at. Let's next go to a palette that I have never used. Uh, but I'm also I'm also a collector of makeup and I'm kind of a completionist. So when they launched this, I was like, I need that. It's movie inspired. I loved the movies and or the franchise. I love the franchise and I also have the other palettes of this. The reason that it is in this video and that I should not have bought it is because of the size. So it's from Colourpop and it is their bigger Star Wars palette. So here's the outer box. I just want to show you. I love this artwork. We also have the inner palette here, which I also think is very... Let me grab out the... Yes. Which I also think it's the palette itself. I really, really like. The color story, I've never, this color story does not inspire me one bit. It doesn't. 
if you know me, you know that I don't really enjoy blue eyeshadow. I there are some blues that I enjoy. These are not that. So I pure I bought this because of the theme. I knew that I would not use it a lot, uh, maybe once, if, if that, but uh, I wanted it for the theme. However, I also knew when I bought it that it would annoy the hell out of me that this is a bigger palette than their others. Because the others that they released are nine pans. And that annoys me so, so much because I cannot store it. <sighs> when I store those palettes, I want them to be together. But this one is a different size and I should not have bought it because I knew right then when I bought this that that would annoy me. So I just should not have bought this palette. Am I getting rid of it? Probably not because I have it. But I uh, I wish that they would have just made this a nine pen palette as well. And, uh, and they didn't and I'm very, very sad about that. So am I happy to have it? Well, that's kind of the debate that I have right now. Uh, on the one hand, I'm like, I love the Star Wars theme. And on the other hand, as I said, it just bugs me so, so much that it is a different size. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I will give it away. Some, it's, it's, maybe I will. I, I never know. I never know. Uh, let's go next to a palette that may surprise you as well. That I have that one here. And it is actually... From the same brand as what I have on my eyes right now. It's from Martina Cosmetics. And right now I'm filming with the Triple X uh, video or uh, palette that should be online on my channel already. And I will link it underneath the cards. But the palette that I'm going to mention, it's this one, which is the Diner palette. So let me show you. The outside looks very, very cool. Uh, my first palette from her was the 669 palette. And this was the second palette that I tried from her. The color story, it is cute, but it's not something that I enjoy using. The quality is very, very nice though. Uh, actually, I filmed a multiple looks video with this that still hasn't, it's still not online. It's, it never went online. I still have the footage, but I never edited it and I never put it online. It's just, there are shades in here that I do enjoy, but honestly, color story wise, it is not what I want to use. The quality is very nice though. The mattes are a little bit softer. The shimmers are stunning. Uh, some shimmers are like this red, for instance, is a very sticky shimmer, but when you have it on your eye, it's stunning. And I think that the looks that I came up with, they're fun. They're cute, but I can already see in the looks that I have done that I was not really inspired by this palette because it's just not a color story that inspires me. So why did I buy it then? Well, I bought it because I want it to be um, one of the first to have a video up with this. So I bought this to do a video with and then the video never went online. I, I should have let this one go and I should have bought some other palettes from her to try um, or other things maybe. But this, this palette, I still do use one of the glosses on occasion. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, I love the aesthetic. I love the aesthetic with the box, but it's not, it's just not a color story that I will reach for outside of YouTube. Ever. The last palette that I'm going to mention today, it's actually the palette that started this video. It's a new palette. I have it very, very new in my collection. When I saw it long, when I saw it sneaked online, I was like, oh, it's very, very pretty. It's, pre it's a pretty basic palette, uh, which is fine. Uh, I knew that going in. When I got it in, I was like, it, the color story is pretty. But when I used it, I was like, why the hell did I buy this? And it is from Huda Beauty and it is the Empowered palette it's very very new so here it is and again it looks pretty i think the color story is pretty uh however when i used it um the look that i came up with which was basically i played with the cool the cooler tones here it was not flattering no, when I when I then basically look at the rest of the color story, I 
I'm like, I kind of like the I, I bought it for a reason, right? I liked the color story. And when I got it in, I was like, oh, it does look pretty. But honestly, this is a, almost a palette that I'm like, I like to look at it, but I don't really like to use it. The mattes are very, very hard pressed. They are very difficult to pick up with my synthetic brushes. They work with real hair brushes and I still have real hair brushes in my collection. Yeah, uh, this is a cream. This is a cream. I tried to use this. I kind of thought that it would be uh, as... Uh, pigmented as just you know a gel pot eyeliner it's not which is fine but it, there's just something about this that I'm like I don't think it's a bad quality let's just say that I don't think it's a bad quality um, if you find out that you have a hard time picking up the matte shadows with your brush try real hair brushes if you have them because that does work heaps but this I actually went back and forth between this one and the Love Fest that I also have from her. But honestly, I see myself grabbing the Love Fest over this. I actually I I I don't know when I will. I don't want to review this actually. Just the fact that I kind of have to work so hard, so hard for it, and have to really think about the brushes that I use with this, and I actually cannot use my favorite brushes with this, makes me just want to be like I should not have bought that palette. You guys warned me. You guys warned me. But I did not listen. So now I learned it. Then the last thing that I'm going to mention. We are going to go out with a bang. And uh, I'm actually pretty sad that this is in here. Uh, but it does need to be here. And I will explain. So what I'm going to show you now is from Ace Beauté. And it's the Palatopoly palette. When this is actually the... When they launched this, I was over the moon i thought it was so so innovative so fun that they were doing this and i still stand by that i think that this is such a fun idea if you're stuck in your makeup routine or just want to branch out and have fun with makeup this is so so cool to do however for me I, i've not used it I think that the color story is extremely pretty. I think this will be a color story that I will very much enjoy. But I also know from myself that I will maybe use this once or twice. So while I really, really enjoy the concept that they have done, I, I haven't used it. And honestly, I don't think I will. I think it's a very, very fun way to play with your makeup. But honestly, I don't need it. When I don't know what to do, I either do nothing, do nothing um, or I grab my phone and a random number generator and I just draw a bunch of shades and put that on my eye and do a palette bingo. I really enjoy doing that. Or uh, it's also a way when I am a lot of the time when I am doing a multiple looks video, I love to go row by row because it just challenges me to do it a little bit differently. Um, so that's how I keep my creativity active. And that means that I... I should not have bought this. I know it won't ever get used. It won't ever get used. So, but it will make a great gift for someone else. Um, and that's probably how it is going to be repurposed. So, yeah, that was it. Um, but yeah, that was today's video. That was today's video. And what I wanted to show with this video is that um we can all get kind of sucked in and there's nothing wrong with that as long as you are happy with your purchases then everything is okay even if you don't use it a lot uh, these though the reason that i just pulled these out is because they don't spark joy for me and looking around my collection i have a lot of palettes that i never use because i have such a big collection but almost everything that i have in my collection i really really enjoy these not however also keep in mind that this is a very very tiny portion of my collection so honestly i think that i'm doing okay with my purchases you know if you have makeup regrets as well let me know uh, i can also do the opposite so uh, makeup that i also almost never use but that very much bring me joy but then the, the things that i bought maybe or something uh, let me know if that would be of interest to you uh, then yeah also if you're still here leave me if you're still leave, here leave me the money fly away emoji <laughs> 
just for funsies and yeah that was it thank you so so much for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comment section below i'm going to wish you a fantastic day a fabulous evening may your foundation always match your neck and i will see you very soon in my next video bye guys